Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out level 13, Norrington's Choice Story Walkthrough for LEGO Pirates of the Caribbean. And we do pick up a trophy slash achievement called Fire. And we do grab one of the eight compass items, which we will get all compass items and all mini kits in our free play series. So if you're looking for mini kits and such, uh, you might want to skip this video and just head to the level 13 Norrington's Choice free play. Oh, yeah, get your twerk on. All right, so if you're following along, we basically just uh, went and, uh, well, took out uh, a bunch of stuff and got our people from Singapore. And, ooh, hey, baby. And, yeah, so anyways, uh, we're fleeing, trying to get out of uh, Davy Jones's locker and basically trying to go round up the Brethren Court, but we run into some troubles and that are, you know, th some baddies. So... We'll make some shifts, and we'll make some uh, dips, and we'll leave Will behind, because he's kind of uh, having some issues deciding which side he's on right now. And, yep, that's right. Put your towel on. Oh, to the yeah. And what's going down there? Some some squirrely stuff's going down, and we can see we're being uh, tracked pretty big time. And, uh, yeah, so once we get control of our lego -ines here, we'll go ahead and show you what's cracking here. This is kind of a tricky one. And basically, we got to free a couple of our buddies. And, well, I guess not really free them, but uh, we have some issues that we need to take care of. So down in the bottom corner, there was uh, a little clam bouncing around. We want to not get all those clams because we're not trying to collect those yet. Essentially, we've got to come up top, drop the... Uh, <laughs> well, we got to shoot first. This will then give us access to both the chains that we need in order to lift the box up and then drop it like it's hot and bust open the uh, little grate there so that we can drop down and get to the inside of the ship. So there are a few studs up top you can grab. As you can see, we still got our two times multiplier rocket. We have not grabbed all of the uh, red hats yet that changed that for us, but we will soon enough. And there's another clam. Whoops, didn't want that. Uh, we're used to clams bouncing around and giving us uh, some studs for doing it. No, but uh, this one is actually in regards to a mini kit. So we'll come back to that one in a few. There's a bunch of cannonballs. You're going to go ahead and build those up, grab a few studs for doing so. And we're actually going to need a torch, but we don't have a torch on this floor. we got to drop down one more level and go grab it. So there you can see it. We can grow, grow back up. That doesn't make any sense. We can run back up. And uh, this is where we actually get a little carried away here. So there is a trophy achievement for shooting the cannon 100 times. Now, in this particular area, there is a mini kit awarded for nailing all 10 of the boxes with red that kind of look like dynamite boxes. But uh, we don't really need to do a whole lot out here. However, this is an opportunity for us to fire the cannon 100 times. So we figured we'd knock it out because we weren't exactly sure how many more chances we'd have to use the cannon in story mode. So we did speed this up quite a bit, as you can see. Pew, 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 pew. And uh, we go at this for just a minute or two. And once we get all done, we will get the trophy achievement. And we're going to slow that down for you here. And boy, you can show fire. All right, so we got that under our belt. One less thing we have to clean up later. And now we'll go back downstairs. And there are a series of, uh, well, tentacles and whatnot all over the place. And you'll need the light in order to scare them away. We're going to make our way all the way down to the bottom floor and then work our way back up. So make sure you bring a torch with you. But I guess if you forgot one, there's plenty down here. Now, this was a little tricky for me. And I apologize for this because I kind of feel like an idiot. It took me quite a while to figure this out. But essentially what I just did was I have two cronies that have red shirts on and are carrying guns. And I have one dude who has a sword in blue. Now, we picked up a, an extra sword off the wall with our boy in blue. You're my boy, Blue. And uh, what we needed to do was actually give the sword to one of the guys in the red. So we have a sword on our hip and a sword in our hand with the blue guy. And we'll get to that in a second here. Uh, we do need to spin the wheel and basically move that hanging crate out of the way so that we can push this wheel mechanism all the way across the checkerboard path. Now, here in a second is where it starts to get complicated with the whole sword play stuff. All right, we'll spin it one more time and get that thing out of there, except for we're spinning the wrong one. So we'll come back to the main golden one, the golden ticket, 
And we'll spin that, and then we'll place this gear into place. Booyah ka shao. And all right, so here's where it gets tricky. What we really need to do is drop the sword with the blue guy and pick it up with the red guy. But you can see I'm seriously confused at what's going on here. Then I get the blue guy, and I lock him into place, and I leave him there, and I think, okay, well, we got the thing halfway up. Where is this? And honestly, I'm starting to think that this game is glitched out on me and that I totally somehow got gypped out of being able to get that sword again. But eventually I figure it out here that, wait a minute, Bluesy has the sword and I need to drop it. But I mean, look, I'm running all over. I am so confused right now, I don't even know what to do. But I was going to edit all this out, but I figured I'd leave a little bit of this noobness in. So not only can you chuckle at me, but hopefully you can learn from my mistake and not have this same issue happen to you. So here we are looking for that sword again, going, uh, come on now, where it be? Give me my sword. Yeah, you can blast that dude in the sand. It doesn't do no good. Like, I kept thinking, okay, I'll do this. Oh, no, I'll do this. Nope. You need to switch to bluesy and drop the sword. And I figure it out here in a second. Do, 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 do. Running all around. Nope. No sword. No sword for you. Go back downstairs. Oh. See, that's how serious I was. I was about to quit the game, and then it hit me like a train. Switch to the blue guy, drop the sword. Watch this. There you go. There we go. Look at that. And then so essentially, if the sword is not responding, then you have picked it up with the blue character and he has two swords now because as soon as you throw the sword down it respawns and there we go. I should have edited that and you know, but at the same time I'm glad I did. And look at that. I don't know how, but somehow I picked up the sword and threw it without even realizing it. And there we go. Finally, bull swords. It takes two to tango. And let's go ahead and slide down to the bottom floor and continue this madness. All right, so there's a torch down here. Obviously, we're going to light the dynamite. There we go. Look out below. Booyakashow. All right, now that door's open. A little cutscene kicks. We have access to a couple more of our characters, including old Bootstrap. He's not sure what to do. He's part of the ship, and he's a little confused on who and where he is and what's going down. So, yep, I know. It's tough. It's tough being a pirate. All right, so now back up top. Essentially, what we need to do is uh, make our way all the way back up and make our way over um, to the other ship. So, I think that's what we're doing. I don't remember. You tell me what we're doing. Oh, wait. That's my job. All right, so we'll work our way back up top. Now, there is uh, some other stuff we'll cover in free play where there are uh, five barrels with purple tentacles, and you got to get rid of those guys. Not just the little guys, but the big guys, too. And here we go. We need some torch, some flam, so we can go ahead and light those. Look at that. I love that you can just pick up dudes and just, like, slam them into the ground. But you can only do that with uh, a couple of them. There's actually... A it's, it's funny, some of the characters you don't really see a whole lot of or don't really even know much about even from the movies, uh, they actually have some pretty cool special moves or whatever. Woo, where's my head? Gave that dude some head. All right, and we'll go ahead, and I don't know why he blows it out. It's silly that every other torch you light doesn't do that, but for whatever reason, you light the torch, and he blows it out, and then you blow the other one up, and booyakasha out on the ledge. Here we go. We're trying to escape. Thanks to Bootstrap, he's up above. He's going to help us out, or so he thinks. I think he's just just a little uh, a wee upset. And steals our buddy. Wee! All right, so now we know where to go. we got to slide out on over to the right-hand side of the ship. Drop down to do so first. And this gets a little tricky, too. You pretty much need uh, more than one character to complete this. You definitely need the female to jump up and get up and grab that. And then you will need the pistol to shoot down some stuff here in a second. Timing is going to be your best friend or your worst enemy here. And once you get all the way across, go ahead and jump up and grab that lever and then spin the wheel. Come on, come on. Big bucks, no whammies, no whammies. Oh. All right, and it'll lift up the boat, which then you can jump on and then shoot the target as promised. And at this point, you know, we kind of need the female to get across here. I don't think it's a necessity, but we jump up. We double jump to get up top and get some of them extra studs up there. 
And that's really why we need the female for this part. Well, one of the reasons. Again, I don't want to count you females out. A couple of you pirates proved to be pretty uh, useful. All right, so we'll slowly climb back across and drop down and almost miss that as well. And from here, we can double jump and get all the way over. And that's why I say the female kind of helps, but doesn't really, uh, isn't really a necessity. Use the torch to go ahead and remove the tentacles. And then swing your sword a few times to get rid of the bad guys. And then drop down. Look at this. It's just We're just cruising along. All right. Now it's pretty self-explanatory once you get over here. We have some bricks that need to be dealt with. But we can't do that because we're, we're not capable. We don't have uh, Mr. Gibbs or anybody who has kind of the, the tools needed. So we'll go ahead and bust everybody up. There's the third clam that I found that I wasn't trying to get. But essentially there's four things that you need to pull here. So go ahead and grab the rest of them and booyah kashow. Once you do it, it'll cue the final cutscene of this area. And we have a little moment of uh, oh no. Yeah, and Bootstrap, you can tell he is not happy. Bootstrappy is not happy. Oh, look at that. He's for sure sleeping with the fishes now, eh? Oh. He thinks he's all cool. We'll, we'll teach him a lesson soon to come. All right, that's going to wrap up level 13, Nor Norrington's Choice Story Walkthrough. We got Murtaugh, we got Mulroy, we got Norrington, we got Captain Elizabeth in the robes. And, uh, Captain, did I say that? I'm sure. Anyway, uh, yeah, couple, uh, couple of studs. Yeah, buddy. We'll go ahead and take a couple gold bricks as well, because we're greedy like that. And, uh, yep, a couple compass items added, but we will... Actually, one compass item added, but we will come back to those in the free play, as we've mentioned many, many times. And, yeah, buddy, that'll go ahead and do it for us. So, you know, let us know what you think down below. We're uh, making good ground through this. We are well over halfway, almost to the three-quarter point of the story mode, which will then lead us into the free play, which I know that's what uh, we're all here for anyways. That's the meat and potatoes of the LEGO games. So we want to thank you for tuning in. Hopefully you found it helpful and entertaining. If you did, feel free to head on over to Facebook or Twitter and tell us about it. And, of course, the option to like or dislike or subscribe or even comment down below is an option too. So happythumbsgaming.com has lots of reviews, product demos, and other things. Uh, we're trying to add to our overall informational hub, and hopefully you guys can give us some feedback of what you'd like to see. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. As always, until next time. Ba -dum -ba -dum -bum -bum. So, yeah.